in this video I'm going to show you how to start your first assignment your teacher has set for you. There are two ways that your teacher might ask you to start an assignment. The first is by clicking into your class and then once you're in your class there may be an assignment here. Alternatively you come up to the top you click on this button here which says my library there's a little folder with two quavers on and you click start personal project in mix editor which one of those you do is up to your teacher either way when you click onto that you'll end up with a project that looks like this it will be totally empty so your first job is to add a new track when you first start it will come up with this box I'm going to talk through these first two options, the two green options. We'll discuss the other three in later lessons. These first two green options are your most used ones and the ones that you'll be using the most often. A drum machine, our second option, will be able to play any drums, but it will only be able to play rhythm parts. Instruments is totally open and free. You can play chords, melodies, anything apart from drums. So you've essentially got drums with drum machine and everything else with instruments. So I'm going to go and create a drum machine first. When I do that, it will come up with two drum parts, A and B, and it will allow me to edit it down here. I'll deal with editing drum parts in another video. If you choose the instruments part, it will instead show you a piano, which you can click on to play notes. Or you can go to the MIDI editor at the bottom to start adding in MIDI information. There's a few other key parts about how to use BandLab. If you want to create a new part in your timeline, you'll need to double click next to the instrument that you want to add a track for, and it will create a new region for you. The other thing to be aware of is the timeline at the top which is measured in bars, so bar 1, bar 2, bar 3, bar 4. When you press play, it will play this timeline from left to right, and it won't stop unless you tell it to. So if you go too far when you're playing your piece of work, and your work seems to disappear, that is because you probably aren't looking at bar 1, you're instead looking at bar 22 and onwards. All you need to do in that case is click this button here to return to the start, or you can press the enter key on your keyboard. Any other parts about BandLab will be dealt with in other videos. The one last part I'm going to tell you about here is this save area at the top right. You need to click on save to save your work. It does not save automatically. You'll know that it's saved because when you click on it, it will say, above the save button, last saved just now.